Very much, oddly enough, um, I love melody. And you would think that a lawyer is good with words, and so it would be the lyric side. Any lyrics I write actually tend out to be pretty banal. Uh, so I will write a melody um, coming up with essentially dummy lyrics that are just stream of consciousness, just looking at the sound of the words, uh, connecting with the melody. For me, I feel most comfortable going over and over again, making small variations in the melody. And I figure if I can do it over and over again and still stand to listen to myself or to listen to the tapes uh, and still be interested in the song, then maybe it has the chance of lasting longer than, than just a few seconds. And then working with a collaborator, and generally I've worked with my old friend Christopher Ward, um, and he's, you know, years and years ago we wrote songs together. He's wonderful on the lyric side, and he's involved in the songwriting camp and helps uh, organize the songwriting camps that we do. So then, then presenting what is there, having input, and then going back and, and rewriting. And that has been my process till today. I'm not into the speed writing uh, uh, side that the songwriting camp is. Oh, absolutely that there is, uh, there is a point to uh, sort of establishing a routine and whether you feel creative or not, just going at it. Because you can never tell when that one magic chord progression against a melody is going to happen. And it could happen on the day that you're hung over feeling horrible and the last thing in the world you want to be doing is writing. And you know, you hope you've got your little recorder in some way going at that time so you don't forget that moment. Um, but yes, it's, um, and using other tricks. Uh, you know, I believe a lot in the, the sort of the writing process of you know, each morning trying to, first of all, I meditate every morning. Secondly, uh, try and just do some stream of consciousness entering into a journal that just what's on my mind. And it's really programming yourself to just get what's inside of you out in a non-judgmental kind of way so that when you do start to do whatever it is you do, whether it's writing or drafting contracts or negotiating deals or coming up with new television programs, that there's no internal sort of control that's happening there. You're, you're trying to just get what's inside out of you in, in as honest a way as possible.